Quick question. How many here are planning to live on your own home someday? Raise your hand. Okay, how many of you plan on getting a second home while we have another home? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Uh, everybody who just raised their, raised their hand for the second home and the 8.9 million other people around the US and the city are planning to get a second home in the future. So um, here I have a picture of a Walmart, Walmart delivery truck. It's a truck that my dad also drives because it's part of his job as well. Um, the truck, if people may not know, this is part of a second home. Because um, of course, delivery trucks, um, pass this around. Delivery trucks are, um, go like from one state to another state to another state and they go for weeks and um, days, like depending on like, how long they want to work. Um, I wanted people to know that the second, like, truck is a second home because um, it's it represents what like because you you want to live it's a home away from home and you want you want to live somewhere else and like also like have an employment uh, working as well. Um, so um, delivery trucks are have been a symbol a symbol of a second home culture since the 1960s. Um, a person named Gordley Demilier invented the first truck in 1896. And he invented it because, you know, um, there were some stores and some restaurants that needed materials for food or clothes, anything um, that people need. Um, and like sooner, and then later, when after 1896, they realized that you know the trucks, they're, they're just traveling from the only like one block to another. So then later in the future, they invented um, these huge uh, delivery trucks that um, that that, that, um, that go around somewhere else in the U.S. and um, they deliver the materials that people need. Um, also, just people people know. Um, the, whatever, whatever company you work for, for example, Walmart, Target, Kmart, or any other restaurant, they pay you while you're living in a second home, just so people know. Um, so like, the only thing you're gonna pay while you're living in a second home will be what, food, um, clothes, or anything like that while you're working and living in a home. I mean, it just in case people are like, oh, what about gas? Like, what about when you travel and you need gas? Um, whatever, like for example, my dad you know, works in the Walmart, um, he doesn't pay for gas, the company pays for his gas while he's working and living in a truck as well. Um, how I identify with this culture, at first I didn't plan on living in a truck or working as a truck. I even told my dad, like, Dad, I don't want to be like you in the future, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he's like, son, I mean, it's not a bad job. I mean, I know you want to be a director or a coach or whatever, but I'm telling you, I mean, sure, those jobs are good, but in a truck, I mean, you're living somewhere else for a few weeks. I mean, I'm sure you're away from your family for a few weeks, and like, you know, maybe your mom or your brother don't like it, maybe you do, but like, just come with me and you'll see how um, it it feels like, you know, living in a second home. So, yeah, you know, I went on a couple of trips with my dad, and you know, sometimes he'll make me dry, sometimes not. Then later, like when it came to nightfall, like we had to go to sleep and everything. He had, we had to share a bed, of course. There was only one bed, um, but it wasn't an uncomfortable people thing, you know. And like, you know, after a few weeks with him, I was like, wow, you know, I like living, at, you know, living in a truck. You know, I love living at home. You know, living in two homes is just like wow. And um, also, like, also realizing that you're getting paid as well. So like. You know, you're getting paid to live in two homes at the same time, so you know, while on the truck or like while at home. So, yeah, I mean, you're getting, you're getting paid no matter what when you're living in two homes as well. Um, and so, in conclusion, you know, um, you know, you just look at the pe people around you, just saw the people that raise their hands living in a second home, you know. These people are going to be living in a second home in the future, and, um, you know, it's not a bad choice, and like, also, you want, you want to be living in a home where you're living, where you're getting paid as well. You know, I'm proud to say I want to be a truck driver in the future, you know, because first I'll be getting a good career. It's not a bad career as well. You get paid the money, 
And also, um, you know, you're living in two homes, and you know, I mean, why wouldn't you want to live two homes instead of one? You know, especially one one home where you travel in, in some part of the U.S. as well. Uh, that was my speech.